Will Wednesday morning's meeting between the Austin Police Association and the city of Austin yield a police contract? That's no guarantee, but it's the first time they're meeting in more than a year, and March 31st will mark a whole year without a police contract. So what happened in that year? The fallout on negotiations happened in February. Former city manager Spencer Cronk came up with a four-year contract with the Austin Police Association, but he was fired four days later, and city council moved forward with just a one-year contract. That's when the police association backed out. The APA and the Austin Police Department officers have never been a barrier to us getting a contract. The next day, Austin police responded to several street takeovers across town, drawing a public spotlight to APD shortages. A month later, the city announced its polarizing partnership with the Texas Department of Public Safety just days before the Austin police contract expired. A month later, voters approved Equity Action's Police Oversight Act requiring officers to implement a new level of public transparency, which the APA has pushed back against. A week later, the APD-DPS partnership paused for the first time, and later that summer, the APD-DPS partnership resumed, only to be suspended 10 days later, this time for good, after allegations of misconduct. Then, Police Chief Chacon announced he would retire. The days are really long, uh, the challenges are many, and, and there's a high degree of stress. In December, in a stunning turn of events, District Attorney Jose Garza dropped 17 of the 21 indictments against Austin police officers for their handling of the 2020 protests, but asked the Department of Justice to investigate, too. The next day, a string of violence across Austin, including several murders, highlighted the strain on officers. And the day after that, Equity Action sued Austin for not fully implementing the Police Oversight Act. There was, you know, a good seven months there for both the city to fully implement the ballot measure uh, and for the city and the association to return to the bargaining table. Then one day after Jose Garza won his primary for district attorney, Austin police announced a return to negotiations. Now on Thursday, those discussions and a potential path toward a contract will begin. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.